Hi guys, I'm back and I've decided to do a video this time around because I got my camera to work. Yes! It wasn't working for ages. I don't know what was wrong with it, but it just wouldn't work. So um I've decided to do an everyday makeup tutorial and a lazy day makeup tutorial. I'm not sure which one will be up first. I'm probably guessing the lazy day one. It just depends which way around I do it. Um I'm gonna start off with the lazy day one right now, but it just depends which one I put up first, I'm not definite. But um I just want to clarify that. The lazy day makeup tutorial and the everyday makeup tutorial isn't exactly what I do because, well it is what I do but I don't tend to wear makeup a lot because I go to school without makeup now, it's just I'm so lazy and I just can't be bothered to do it and I wake up late and it's, it's too much hassle so I'm, these are makeup that I do wear but it's just I do it less now if you know what I mean, like, I mean the last time I wore my everyday makeup was probably like three weeks back or something so it's just that I felt like doing these videos because I want to talk to the camera and talk and I'm sorry if I'm being weird I'm just hyper and please excuse my hair because I have like a grease ball excuse for a hair head of hair so I think I'm just gonna go straight into it um my face has already been moisturised and everything because like I got up late so I only just got ready like 15-20 minutes ago and it actually is nearly half full Okay, anyway, I'm just going to go straight into it and I've got my little makeup bag because it's just made it easier to have everything here with me and I think I'm going to start off with concealer. So, I'm really bad when it comes to concealer because I don't like concealer because I've never found the right one for me but a few weeks ago I had a college interview at Matthew Bolton um, campus in town and on the way back I said to my mom can we just go into town because I thought like we'll go there for some reason I don't know why so I went, ended up being boots and I found this can we see this the Revlon what is it the Le Revlon photo ready concealer now this concealer is the bomb I'm not even joking it's like one of the best concealers and when my foundation is finished when my okay, I'm sorry if you can hear shouting because like it's like kind of like lunchtime in my family, so like my mom and my sister and everybody's calling everybody down. They know I'm making a video, so it's good. But they're calling my dad down and stuff. Okay, anyway, sorry, off topic. <laughs> this concealer is like the best. Okay, and I think what shade am I in? I mean zero, zero four, medium. Okay, so this concealer it just blends so well. Okay, I'm just gonna put it on to show you because like this is okay. So when I start off, I don't know if I should move my hair out the way. I think I'll pin it out the way because it'll just be easier. Okay, that's better. All right. Oh, you can't see my head now. Sorry for the adjusting. Okay, there. So I just wind up a tiny bit and I put it here first. And I'm sorry if I look weird because like I'm looking in the mirror behind the camera because like I have this big wardrobe mirror and I look but I'm looking behind there and basically I just draw like a triangle and then I smooth it out wait where's my pink there the ring finger because it is the gentlest thing of all and it will like not damage your skin I guess um I can't remember the phrase oh my god this sounds so I'm sounding so stupid now because I can't remember things and basically I smooth it all out, mainly under my eye, and then I try and drag it down a little bit. Not drag, obviously, because like dragging will make the eyes get all baggy and stuff, but yeah. And on the second side as well. And I'm just blending, pretty much. And I'm telling you, this is like the first concealer I found that works really good. So when my Avon foundation is finished, I'm definitely probably going to get the foundation in the range too, because I've, I've heard like really good reviews on it anyway. So, um... Yeah, then, especially when I'm ill, I do this. I'm just going to give my little mirror to see. I put it around my nose, like, here and here. Which, But then again, when I'm ill, I do blow my nose a lot and stuff, so it would come off. But this one does last up slightly longer than normal. I'm just rubbing it out here, as you can see. I'm trying to conceal the redness. Because I tend to get really red around the nose, mainly. Okay, so that's that done. Then, the next step is pretty much... Where is it? 
Oh, here. Powder. Now, I don't... Obviously, it's lazy day makeup, so, um... I'd probably be... It'd probably just be concealer for me on most days, anyway. But, just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you what I would do on some days. I would obviously set it, because, um... I get really oily skin. I am... I have oily combination skill. And this is... Okay, let's come off from there. Never mind. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder in... NW42 and this is the colour what it looks like and pretty dark I guess I don't know okay so basically I just get a little bit on and then just sweep mainly under those in those places where I had the where I had the concealer but I just put it on my t-zone pretty much as well because that is where I get the most oiliest there and there um yep and that's the powder done i don't do a lot of powder because i don't want it to be too much oh my god i forgot something just hang on for a second eyebrow brush um i don't fill in my eyebrows it's too much hard work and i have pretty much full eyebrows anyway so i just brush them out my eyebrow brush and the comb on the other side pretty much that's it that's all I do because I have pretty much black eyebrows as you can see oh my god that's so embarrassing I need to get them done um yeah that's all I do for that then mascara I put on mascara okay I have a lot of different mascaras I wear but at the moment I'm liking this L'Oreal Paris full slash flutter my mum calls it butterfly she bought it and she said, I've got you the butterfly one. So, um, well, actually, I guess it is because it just says butterfly wing effect fibers. So, I'll just put it on and show you. The brush is actually really good. I'm not even going to lie. It's really good. I have long eyelashes anyways. But the only reason I wear mascara is mainly volume or, like, to make them, like, darker. If you can see, I don't know. Okay. Never mind. I'll just put it on and show you, like, so I... Just push my hair up there. So I literally just... I mean, obviously, it's quite obvious how you would put mascara on, but, um... I probably look so weird right now. I mainly put it on the edges, because that's where I probably would need it most. And then that side. Let me just double check in the little mirror here. Okay, sorry, um, the camera just went off, so um, I was just checking in the mirror and it looks fine. This is probably how I would really have it. Um, it's basically, I don't know if you can see it properly, but it basically just flares about like butterfly wings, like it says, so um, yeah. Then that's, there's only one or two things left that I would do. Um, the one big thing I would do is blush out because um, it just gives a nice glow to your face. So, um, yeah, I think, um, well, I've got a lot of blushes, but I like this one now. Um, as if you remember from, well, if you have watched it, the birthday haul, I got a lot of MAC makeup and I was very like honored like not honored but like very glad to get mac makeup because i'd been dreaming about that for like at least two years so um when mom says when i start working and i earn my own money i can save up and get my own because she's not gonna buy me after that she goes because this was like a big set so um it was kind of more cheaper in a sense i guess oh my god i keep moving this camera i'm really bad um yes but okay this is like a really nice pink color and it's called a lady clever colour. I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. Okay, so basically I just get a bit onto the brush. I try not to get too much because obviously um, it's quite bright pink and it won't look good too, too good. So, And I just smile and then try and get into the apple in my cheeks. When you smile, the apples kind of show up here, can you see?
I don't think it's true I've put that much in the camera because I'm sitting pretty much next to the window but um there is ways to put on blush that according to your face shape but um you can research that as well find out what your face shape is and like do it my face shape is long but I've always just kind of like put on the cheek on the apples and then kind of blushed out a bit more so and it works so I don't I haven't really bothered to kind of try and make it for my face shape but if you want to you're welcome to I guess but um yeah so next slide a bit more oops okay Okay, that looks alright for me. Obviously, put on as much as you desire to, um, as you wish to, because, like, it all depends on your face colour, I guess, and your skin tone and the type of pink you're using and stuff. It just adds a nice natural flush to your face. It's good for a laser day makeup, because you want to look kind of natural, in a sense, so it's good. Now, on these days, I sometimes would wear lipstick, or mainly just Vaseline, but, um, Actually, lip tint is usually my favourite thing, but I like this um, lip balm from the Body Shop. It's called Born Lippy, and it's plum. It tastes like plum, well, smells like plum anyway. And it look, and it kind of comes out in a kind of purplish colour. Since my natural lip colour is like kind of mauve, it kind of goes well with it. It's kind of like a dupe for the um, Maybelline Baby Lips, I think, I guess. Um... So I'll just put it on, I guess. <laughs> I try to leather a lot on because I get dry lips no matter what the weather, whether it's summer or winter. And it's just good to keep your lips hydrated anyway, so. And then I am done. Whoa, hair crazy. And on lazy days, my hair wise, I just really can't be bothered to do anything. I t my fringe is really playing up today, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's kind of splitting in the middle again. But on lazy days, I just leave my hair straightened or however it is and just sort out my fringe usually in the morning. And then that's it for lazy day makeup, I guess. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. Hope it was helpful in any way possible. Um, someone's knocking on the door, I think it's my little brother. So I'm going to go now. Bye guys.